So you finished the first season of Arcane and now you're on Arcane Fever. I can very easily relate to that. <laughs> I mean, it's not a big deal. We're just gonna wait for the second season. Yeah, that might be kind of a problem. So now you can be wondering, what can I do with the spare time I have? And boy, do I have a solution for you. I present to you self-made Jinx inspired hoodie. And the best part is, you can make it yourself. So keep on watching the video to find out how I made it. Also, consider liking and subscribing. I'm just starting out and it will help a bunch. Enjoy the video. It's Monday evening, more precisely 7 p.m. I have three assessments for tomorrow, but I think it's perfect time to start a new project and make a Jinx hoodie. So let's begin by tracing the hoodie that we already own because it's easier than taking measurements off of our body and we're lazy. That's easy. That's it. So the kind of fabric that you want to look for hoodies is somewhere like JRZ, cotton and stretchy things. Best with fluffy lining because it's gonna be really warm and cozy. Now remember to make the pattern a little bit bigger than the actual thing that we're tracing. This is gonna be our space for a seam allowance and you can go straight to cutting it out. And now you have a flop like this and pray to god that it's gonna fit you nicely. I think it's all right. We'll see. Of course it's gonna be alright and now that you made a good pattern you can cut it out the second time but make it a little bit wider. This is gonna be the front of our hoodie so we need to make sure that we have a space for zipper. And when you're done cutting out the front piece just cut it in half. Making this jacket took me so much time because I was freaking out all the time about Arcane. I mean I did after all just finish the second act and it was so fruity. You, you can't blame me! I educated myself now. I know how to make a hood. What we're gonna do is we're gonna trace it. We're gonna make it a tiny little bit bigger. We're gonna have to use four pieces. Just make sure to trace the hood twice on one side and twice on the other side because otherwise you're gonna end up with lining outside. Now you gotta pray that all the pieces are gonna fit together. It's 7.47. I still have the free assessments for tomorrow. You're procrastinating, what can I say? Just like I procrastinated on making this video, but anyways. Now you're gonna want to pin down the pieces together and sew along those lines. Each piece has to be facing the front of the other one, so when you flip it, you can see the seam. But going back to obsessing over Arcane... Jinx's character? Mwah! Chef's kiss! I love everything about her. Her character design, how her character was built, it's just so good, so good! But I want you guys to let me know down in the comments what do you think and who is your favorite character from Arcane. As you can see I had a tiny little bit breakdown because of heat waves and I still wonder why it took me so long to make this jacket. Now since you have two hoods, you can A. Give one to your friend and be a good friend B. Make two Dementor cosplays Or C. Stitch them the right side facing each other We will go with C Now just like before, the hoods have to be facing each other So when you flip them, you can see the seam allowance What the f*** happened? I'm so confused right now It looks like ass It should be like... <laughs> Guys, I don't think I don't think it should look like this. <laughs> what the? Okay, I, I figure it out. Instead of going like this, it's supposed to be like that. Don't make the same mistake because I almost started ripping it out. We're gonna sew all along this line. The reason why we're sewing along the edge of our hood is to make a tunnel that we're gonna use to pull the string through. You want the tunnel to be wider than the grommets and the string that you're gonna be using. The string I used is about 2cm wide and the tunnel I made is about 4cm wide. Now here I was trying everything on but didn't attach the hood to the body yet and the reason for that is because we're gonna be making holes in our tunnels that we just made. Let's make them relatively small because later we're gonna be pushing through them grommets as you can see. It's gonna create a really neat look. Promising. 
Now, I don't know what I was trying to achieve right there, but just use a regular hammer for that, okay? Just be normal, okay? The grommets, as you can expect, are gonna be used to pull the strings through. Then I went straight to sketching the monkey on the back. I did this before attaching the hood to the body because I wanted to work on the flat canvas and you should as well, it's easier. So you can't really see it but I finished the sketch and now I'm gonna apply the first layer with just white. It will make the colors pop more. I lied. I'm actually using a mixture of one part fabric softener and two parts of acrylic paint because this way the paint is a lot more stretchy when it dries and it's easier to paint with it. So. A week later, a few things have changed. I finished the first season of Arcane. That was something. <laughs> Let's finish the hoodie. Now, despite being emotionally damaged after the last episode of Arcane, I still kept on painting. And this monkey took me like five hours. It was misery also sorry for the moving shot but i was using a clear tape to attach my phone to the lamp so you have to forgive me after i was done with the print on the back i started attaching the body to the hood uh, the hood to the body <laughs> nothing really special except the fact that you have to fold it a little bit in the place where the zipper is so you have the place to attach the zipper <laughs> this is the fault i'm talking about it's not big but it is there <laughs> and it's very important. And then I started working on making cuffs and hems with this ripped fabric, which we're gonna attach at the bottom of our hoodie and at the end of the sleeves. Since this fabric is really stretchy, don't be afraid to make it shorter than the width of our hoodie and the sleeves. And since we're gonna fold them in half, we want to make them twice the width of what we want them to look when attached. And this is kind of what you want to attach them like, I'm sorry for the bad visualization, but I was too lazy to make a proper tutorial. And then I started attaching the zipper, which I don't really precisely show in the video, so sorry for that. It, it was too much for me. Honestly, too much. So, my fabrics came. What we're gonna do right now is dye it. I'm gonna dye it purple. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take the fabric. We're gonna cook it with the dye and hope it will turn out the good color. And the reason why I didn't buy the purple fabric is because I couldn't find one. Mm, good soup. Now the sleeves were the only part where I was making the pattern. And that was to ensure that the sleeves are gonna perfectly match the holes in the body of the hoodie. Okay, so turns out I don't have enough fabric for the second layer. So I'm just gonna cut out the needed fabric for the stripes. I love complicating things. I love it. The first layer of the sleeves is gonna be used as a lining. It's gonna be just the plain fabric that you can see on the screen right now. And the second, the outer layer, is gonna be made out of two colored stripes. I made the pattern for the stripes just by cutting up the pattern for the regular sleeves. So I have everything cut out for both of my sleeves. Now I'm sewing the sleeves into tubes. To turn them into tubes, you simply need to fold them in half and sew along the edge. We finished the first layer of sleeves. Now we're getting to something more complicated. So this right here is the second layer of sleeves that I'm talking about. We're just gonna sew those strips together and hope for the best. So slowly everything's coming together. Here I already merged the two layers of sleeves and don't know why I didn't show it on camera, but all you need to do is put one sleeve into another. They both have to be facing each other the wrong side and sew along the top and the bottom edge. So I just quickly want to show how I'm gonna put together the sleeves. First of all, we've got the hoodie, we've got the armholes and we fill up the hoodie inside out. Take one of the sleeves it's on the right side. We put it from the inside, assemble the position. So the top is on the top, the bottom is on the bottom. And then we just sew them together. Now hold up, cause this part actually sounded like a proper tutorial. It would have been so much easier if the whole video was like that. Anyways, this is pretty much it. So let's see the grand reveal.